Oh my god, I spent four hours practicing that. For those of you that don't know, the 1.20 update for Minecraft is coming out pretty soon. But they've also already released some snapshots for 1.19.4. And I gotta say, this might be my favorite update ever. Not because of all this shit though. What is, what is he? Okay, that's it. For 19.4, they added four new entities that are perfect for map makers. Text displays, item displays, block displays, and interactions. Oh my god, the display entities can just like exist in the world. No armor stands required, nothing else needed, they're just blank entities. And oh, oh boy, the interactions. You can detect when a player clicks nothing. You don't have to use an invisible villager. You don't have to use a carrot on a stick. These entities are literally the perfect tools for map makers. This is monumental. So naturally, I decided to make a piano. I started by summoning a tiny little interaction box to act as one of the keys. The first thing to do was make it display a particle every single time I clicked it. Look at that! Nice! Then I summoned a row of 24 of these interaction boxes right next to each other to act as the keyboard. There are 24 notes on a Minecraft note block, so I used 24 keys right next to each other. Then I assigned key numbers using a scoreboard to all of these and made them play each note based off of their number in the scoreboard. And then here's a conversion I found online between what the note is and then the pitch to play when you're using a play sound. Shout out to this random dude for coming up with all the pitch numbers for each key. This really came in clutch. And there you go, look at that. To make this actually look like a keyboard, I'll move these keys out and then these keys back. And then squish them all together. Now to add the actual keys, well, I, I mean the display of the keys, not the actual interaction, you know what I'm saying. I'll summon a block display that's stretched and warped and use a quartz block for the white keys and then netherite block for the black keys. Okay, that's pretty cool, but watch this. Hell yeah! See, now I realize the hitboxes for all my white keys are a little too tall, so I'm gonna teleport them all one pixel down. There we go, perfectly flush with the keys. All right, this part's kind of weird and glitchy, but to animate the keys, you have to set all the keys to be slanted a little bit down and then use this interpolation function setting thing, whatever, in the blocks displays so that every time you click them, they get set back up to their like flat position. That way, every time you click them and they get set to their flat position, they'll animate from their previous position, which was the... This is why I can't speak to women. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now I'll just build the, uh, the piano. Then I'll affect the player with slowness so that when you're standing right in front of the piano, you get in the zone. Then this looks a little offset, so I'm gonna move all the keys over which includes the block displays and the hitboxes. Then this side looks really stupid because the black is overhanging the white, which makes no sense. So I'll just summon a placeholder key that doesn't actually do anything. If I click it, nothing happens. Then the very last thing that I have to do, because I completely forgot about it earlier, is to change all the interactions to have this tag called response and set that to on, which basically just means your fist moves every time you click it instead of just being completely stationary. And now it is complete. I've prepared my whole life for this moment. So I know this video is really short, but I just wanted to get this out as sort of a proof of concept. I'm working on a much bigger video as well, but that one won't be out for a long time. So I'll leave you with a couple songs.